Welcome back to more episodes of Pokemon Crystal. Last time, we uh, defeated the sixth gym leader. We checked out the Lake of... Uh, I mean, not the Lake of Rage. That's where actually we're going to do this episode. Uh, we actually check out the ruins again and get some more items there. Uh, we also uh, use Surf and go around and look some for spots and missing items. And for this, is, this time, this episode, we're actually just going to head to the Lake of Rage and see where we can go from there. So first off, let's explore this town. So we're going to go to house to house and see what this guy has to say. <laughs> the experience worked like a charm. Magikarp are just worthless, but Gyarados are big and big money makers too. Oh, okay. Welcome. How may I help you? So this guy actually has stuff for sale. He has a slowpoke tail uh well that's okay there's pokeballs and potions it's a tiny mushroom i don't know what the tiny mushroom is but he actually has slowpoke tail which is kind of weird this guy oh yeah kid i see you're new in mahogany town since you're new you should uh check out these yummy uh, rage candy bars Right now, it can be yours for just 300 Want one? Sure. Oh, you don't have room for this. Okay, so I guess we'll head to the Pokemon Center and empty out useless items we have. So we uh, got a Rage Candy Bar, and let's see what it does. Rage Candy Bar restores Pokemon HP by 20. Okay. It's like a souvenir item. Let's see what this guy has to say. I heard that the Red Gyarados appeared at the lake. That's odd, since even uh, ordinary Gyarados are, are rare in this in that lake. So if you don't know, Red Gyarados is considered a shining Pokemon as well. There's Pokemon music, that's what she's talking about. And the odds of getting a shiny Pokemon are super high. I, I You can't even fathom it. Alright, fathom. Um, so yeah, see the sightings? Oh yeah, we talked to this guy in the last episode, I remember that. I think that's all we really need to check. All right, so let's head north. Let's talk to this guy. Only people headed to like up to Lake Rage have been through here lately. Okay. So let's check out Route 43. So these are the trainers you will find out here on this route, and and this guy is just spinning like nonstop. Pretty sure this is Spencer. Uh, let's check our Pokemon really quick. Yep, everyone's ready to go. Get in there. Yeah, so you can do so much with your Pokemon. So much stuff. Alright, we'll skip this battle. And we have defeated Spencer. Cool. Let's go up this way. We could see some encounters. We've never caught a Farfetch, so let's try to catch it. And we caught a Farfetch. Nice. Let's go back and heal. There's a house over here. Let's check out this house. Oh! Whoa! Uh... Hold it there, kiddo. The toll here to go through is... Uh... You just... Alright, okay, let's keep going then. So there's an item here. We got a max ether. So I guess if you go that way, you lose a thousand, basically, every time. Uh, also... Since we're up here in this area. These are the list of Pokemon that can be found in this area, in this route specifically. 15, 16, 17. Usually that's what's around. So there's more trainers. Some Mandy guy <laughs> made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it. My Pokemon's great. Yeah, it was probably Russian Mandy. I think that was there. Nido King. And 
And we have defeated Ron. I love Pokemon. That's why I started and why I keep collecting Pokemon. Nice. Nice. And now you just want to fight me with your things you've collected. You crazed, crazed man. Ben, you are crazy with your slow bro. And we take out Pinecone. And Magnemite grew to level 25. We defeated Ben. Yeah, we did that to you. Take that. Take that. What does this say? 343. And we made it to the Lake of Rage. I'm pretty sure we missed a bunch of trainers down there. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we missed. There's a trainer here. I'm in a slump. Maybe it's the gear I'm using. Let's battle for a change of pace. Okay. Mr. Bradley Cooper Luca like. I lost, but I feel better anyway. Yeah. Yeah, sure you do. Anything over here? Like a rage again. This area needs cut. see what's over here you know what? we'll come back to this area I think that's a good idea because we're technically in the lake of rage play for a while has a clefairy level 20 isn't my clefairy the most adorable thing all right we're gonna actually save because my computer is about to restart automatically so I'm guess I'm gonna have to take a break for a little bit I'll be right back, and we'll face the rest of these trainers. All right, so I'm back. Uh, the update took a while, but I'm back now. So we just finished facing her off. There's, there's a couple other trainers that left. Uh, I can, as you can see, it is nighttime. I, I guess I have not faced this guy. And he's curious if I have any rare Pokemon, but I don't. So I don't know if what's considered rare, but hey, the guy's crazy with his look at yeah. Uh. <laughs> and we made it to the Lake of Rage. The Gyarados are angry. It's a bad omen. Did my eyes deceive me? I saw a red Gyarados in the lake, but I thought Gyarados were usually blue. Well, that guy is a Shining, and Shinings are very rare. Let's see what this guy has to say. Lake of Rage is actually the crater of, made by a rampaging Gyarados. The crater is filled up with rainwater, and the lake was uh, formed. That's the story passed on from my family. Great, great grandpa. It used to be that it could catch uh, a lively magic harp there, but I don't understand what's happening. Interesting place. Let's see what this guy has to say. I heard this lake was made by a rampaging Gyarados. I wonder if there's any connection to the mass uh, outbreak right now. Uh, mass outbreak now. Is that outbreak? Let me scroll down. So let's go over here. Okay, so I guess we use headbutt. No, nothing. Okay. So all these trees could be headbutted for Pokemon. But the main Pokemon out there is is that level 30 Gyarados. 
Okay, there we go. So I think we have to go around, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go this route. Oh. We caught a Venonet. Nice. Oh, we're not going to give it its name, but hey, we caught it. Back on the Lake of Rage. This time we're in a different part of the map. And we found a full restore, a hidden item. It's a very hidden item, and we found it. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to do is cut and find our way around. It looks like a ton of items out here. And we found a rare candy, because that's a hidden item. Nice. I like that. A rare candy. Let's go up this way. There's an item here. We got an elixir. An elixir. Nice. Nice to have. Let's go this way. It's a house here. Uh, you have strayed far. Here, I have some medicine inside me. A new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this. We received TM10. It's hidden power. Okay. So we have hidden power. And we got TM-43. Let's find out what TM-43 is. TM-43 is detect. If it detects it, that turn, it may fail. Okay. And we captured a Knocked Owl. Have any awakenings? Yeah, I got a bunch of awakenings. All right, let's go in this water. As you can see, there's the Gyarados right here. We got some encounters along the way. They're just a bunch of Magikarps and Gyarados, all raining at random levels. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to capture this red Gyarados. As you can see, it did the glow and spin. That means it's considered shining. There we go. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Thunder Shock. Let's 
gonna do a lot of damage. There we go. Let's do supersonic. Do hypnosis. Okay, I think we only have one chance for this. So we're gonna do it with the highest chance ray. That is the Ultra Ball. And if it doesn't work, then Gyarados faints and we're gonna start again. Bam, we did it this time. There we go. We got a red Gyarados. No, we won't give it a nickname. And we got a red scale. We'll hold on to that for later. And there's a guy right here. There was a guy that just probably watched all of that just happen just now. And we'll talk to him. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the Magikarp are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're Ankit, or Ankit. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some uh, rumors, so I came uh, to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Ankit. I can tell you're a trainer with considerable skills. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? So we say yes. Excellent. It seems that I, the, the Lake Magic Harps being forced to evolve mysterious radio broadcast coming from mahogany is the cause i'll be waiting for you on kid and he just flies away so let's head back to town you have to talk to those guys again so let's save So that's going to do it here for this episode. Next time on Pokemon Crystal, we'll be helping Lance investigate.